Epcot into a giant game of Monopoly. Who are the players and the park is the board. The rides are the properties and we might go to jail. Hey guys, I have a question. Yes. What is Monopoly? Oh, oh no. Well, they're gonna have a hard day. The winner of this game of Monopoly, the person who comes in first who bankrupts us all, okay. will get to play on and take us on their perfect day. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. And the loser, will have to be the first and only seeker in our eight-person game of hide-and-seek oh. in the entirety of Disney World. Oh, man. That we're filming soon. Okay, or, or hear me out. Just like, what if, what if I just like, I just like... The first person other than Sage. <laughs> no, May the best businessman will win. Okay. Um, all right. What if you um, aren't good with money? What if you can't do math? Uh, and what it's, if you just have a charming personality and that's how you get through life? Uh, how do we start this? We just say, like, Monopoly? Monopoly. Why, why would you put finger guns? Monopoly on three! <laughs> One, two, three, Monopoly! Okay, game is started. So I've definitely got some interesting cards starting off with. I think my strategy is going to be, uh, let's get some of the heavy hitters at first. Um, now I have Canada far and wide, uh, which is gonna be probably one of the easier Monopolies to get, just because there's two, only two properties that I need to, that I need to get on World Showcase right. Uh, and so I'm gonna do Canada far and wide. Now in order to, um, uh, actually purchase that property, I do need to actually do it. But if I am just paying rent on someone else's property, I, uh, I don't need to do it. I just have to go to that location and pay the rent. So first things first, I am going to go experience Canada far and wide, which means that property will be mine. All right. So the game has begun. Um, we have uh, like a little app that we're using in our phone to track our game and we're not playing like normal Monopoly. There's not turns and we don't roll dice. Instead, we each have a hand of five cards and we just have to play those five cards repeatedly. When we play a card, we draw a new card and we have to make our turns based on what we want to do out of our hand. I My strategy this time is to avoid at all costs buying any of the railroads because I learned when we played this game in Magic Kingdom that buying railroads is a bad strategy. So instead, I'm going for property early. So I'm gonna start with something that is lower value, but I can get pretty easily. And that is with a card that's in my hand, Journey into Imagination with Figment. On the way there, I'm gonna do one of my task cards. Task cards are how you make money. The only way to make money in the game is to do these tasks or get paid rent. Of course, I don't own any property yet, so I'm gonna do a task. My task card says go to ensure the item at a festival booth that no one else has. So I'm stopping here at Bubbles and Brine. Bubbles and Brine is a really fun booth that was at Food and Wine and has returned for Festival of the Holidays, one of the Epcot festivals. And I'm gonna share the Jumbo Shrimp Cocktail, which looks very good and I wish I could eat it right now. I love shrimp cocktail. Okay, I'm gonna be honest here. Okay. Me, no strategy. <laughs> Me neither. I have none. Um, um, I have a lot of cards. I cannot tell you the last time I actually played board game Monopoly. Don't know how this game works. I, well, for us, we're lucky because we yeah. have our little app. We do, and it's just very nice. pull cards for us. Yes, but we still have to make choices, yeah. and I don't know what to choose. I don't either. Do you want to help me decide? Yeah. Should we? Okay. Should right we now, alliance. Form a secret alliance. Secret alliance. Like on Survivor. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You, okay. Okay. You or me? What's our gotta name? Gotta win. We need a name. Frema. Frema. They both went to World Showcase. You yeah. and I are both up here in the so front. So it makes me feel like we need to dominate the first, like front half of the park. I agree with that. Okay. Because if we can get Monopoly up here, yeah, and then that'd we be work huge. on our secret alliance. That would be huge. Because Quincy's gonna be... not going to be an alliance kind of girl. No, Quincy's not an alliance girl. Mm -mm. And also, she bankrupted first last time. She so did. Like, she might just take herself out. Yeah. If it, and then basically it's two against one. Exactly. This is where we divulge. All right. We this, got. This is gonna be great. Frema for the win. Frema. We hope, or at least just not the lose. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Frema. So I've decided to buy Journey of Water, inspired by Moana. This is the newest attraction here in Epcot. It is a walkthrough attraction, and it's really, really cool. It's all about the water cycle and they've got plenty of things that you can read all about the water cycle and it's actually really fun and very interactive ways to interact with water and learn about it and it's super fun this is one of my new favorite things here in epcot it makes you feel like a kid 
and that's what Epcot is supposed to be, learning about new things, learning how to make the world a better place, and it's so much fun. You really get to play here. So like here, we're gonna make some music. There is a path where you might get a little wet, but there's also a dry path, so you don't have to worry. If you don't wanna get wet, you can take the dry path, and then the big draw to this attraction is the big Tafiti statue. She's beautiful, she's like 16 feet tall, and it's right behind Spaceship Earth, and it's beautiful, makes her some really great photo opportunities. And then over here at the end of the attraction, this one is really fun, it is a team effort. So if everybody stands on all of these logos right here, and then you raise your arms up, and if everybody does it, it all goes together. I think this attraction is great. It's one of my new favorites. So if you haven't done it, you have to come check it out. It's just a walkthrough and there's no line for it. Um, you can also meet Moana right next to it. Um, we're not gonna do that today because we're playing a game. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna go for, because I just did one in World Nature. I also, I have a Living with the Land card. So if I go do Living with the Land, hopefully, I don't have a Soarin' card right now, but I could get Monopoly for World, World Nature. So that's my goal right now. Should I ride Nemo and Friends? Just kidding, I'm gonna ride Nemo and Friends because it's right here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, friends, in a bold move, I'm just leaving Epcot. And that's not a joke because my strategy right now is I have a lot of the transportation, I have two of them under my belt right now, and that's gonna take a long time. And I acknowledge that and I know that, but I also know that they're really expensive, so. I'm just gonna go like ride some boats for a while and go on a Skyliner and hopefully that'll bankrupt somebody in a few hours. All right, I am here at Journey into Imagination with Figment to buy this ride. We started with $750, I made 50 from that task and this ride is just gonna cost me 60, so that's not too bad. This is the least valuable neighborhood on the board. So just like in Monopoly on the board game, you do have to get every property in an area to start buying houses and hotels and bankrupt the other players. So Journey into Imagination is a world celebration property. Um, it's got a 10 minute wait. We do actually have to ride it to be able to buy it. So hopefully it's not a real 10 minute line and we just kind of walk on. Hey everybody, I am crying right now, both from laughter and also just sheer shock at what I've done. The Skyliner, it's at the back of Epcot. You know where I am? The front. Because I felt like I was in Hollywood Studios. Because you, you have to go to the front to get to that Skyliner. So I actually think, you know what? I take it all back. This is strategy. I am just killing time while they waste their money. So this was actually really on purpose. And I did it all. Um, because I'm gonna win this. And this was all on purpose, walking to the, the completely wrong place. Now Canada Far and Wide is actually a 360 degree uh, movie theater, so you'll see uh, screens completely all around you. They have a couple different uh, attractions at movies like this uh, all over the world showcase. Uh, there's one in China. Uh, you'll see a version of this uh, impression to France and the, and the France Pavilion, which go, uh, swaps back and forth with uh, Beauty and the Beast sing along. So make sure if you're going into any of these pavilions, uh, you're really exploring them because there might be some hidden attractions that you did not know about. You know what's funny is that I always imagine Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hare because they're comedians to for, for, for Canada Far and Wide to be uh, you know, funny, but they're just, no, they're just great narrators from Canada. So, uh, now, uh, my strategy is I'm going to go to Grand Fiesta Tour. Um, it's the property still has not been bought yet, but, uh, I'm going to do two tasks on the way to hopefully get some more money. Uh, so that way, uh, I don't go bankrupt. First things first, we're going to go to a new addition here at Epcot. Uh, the, the task is something that, uh, is recently new within the past five years. And this is new within actually within the past couple of weeks at the time of filming. And something that's new that's been around for the past couple of weeks is this beautiful tree. 
these Christmas trees uh, pop up uh, for the holiday season and uh, they're actually one of my favorite things about the holiday season is because each park will get their version of a Christmas tree so obviously the Magic Kingdom they have the big Christmas tree in uh, uh, on Main Street USA and that's gonna have a lot of uh, more Magic Kingdom inspired things as you can see on this tree because it's here at Epcot, you're gonna see a bunch of different ornaments with a bunch of different flags that represent uh, all the different uh, countries here in World Showcase, as well as some fun uh, phrases uh, in different languages, again, representing the different uh, countries in World Showcase. In, An in Animal Kingdom, you'll see, you'll see a couple more uh, wild ornaments in Hollywood Studios, same things that have to do with more filming and those aspects, but these trees are a great addition uh, to the holidays, and it's been around for the, it's only been around for the past couple weeks because it's, it's like November 30th, so that's way less than five years. Nailed it. Okay, so my strategy of just killing time is obviously working, um, but to make sure I don't count myself out too early, I'm gonna do Living with the Land, because I also have that card. Also, real strategy decision right here, Living with the Land is in the World Nature um, Monopoly and Fry just bought Journey of Water. So I can use this to potentially trade with her later if she wants that monopoly. So, Frema. Frema. Okay, I've made it inside the land pavilion. We're gonna go with living with the land for our first thing because strategy and all of this was on purpose the whole time. And also, just in case you don't know, living with the land does a Christmas overlay called glimmering greenhouses. So the line's a little bit longer than normal. It's about 20 minutes, but it's okay. Okay, made it on. Definitely did not take 20 minutes. I love this ride. If you don't know what it is, it takes you through Disney's greenhouses and talks about agriculture. I'm actually gonna change my strategy just a little bit. Uh, I'll tell you what it is in a second because I did get a card that uh, I think I actually need to go to the um, International Gateway. But another card that I want to uh, knock out of the way just to get some more money is go, uh, go to and share an item at a festival booth that no one has yet. At the time of filming, it is the Festival of the Holidays. I'm here in Canada at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen. And something that someone hasn't talked about yet that I would like to try at some point. I have not yet. Uh, I know one of the, one of our other reporters uh, tried this out when we have we div we have a whole review uh, up on the channel of everything uh, festival of the holidays. Uh, so a different reporter did this one, but the beef uh, bourguignon, hmm, beef bourguignon. Yeah, that's right. Uh, with crushed potatoes, uh, that looks delicious with that beef. Um, uh, that beef, those crushed potatoes, some of those tomatoes on there it adds a nice acidity to it. I, I'm imagining, I cannot wait to try it. But if you want a full review of the Festival of the Holidays, make sure uh, Emma, Quincy, and I, we're all here checking it out. Uh, um, we did a majority of the booths as well as a lot of the entertainment and some of the fun merch you can find here. So check that out up on the channel now. 
now I've got to change my strategy a little bit. We rode Nemo, we got a little bit more cash. This is starting to make more sense to me. I have a strategy. So right now, in my cards, I have Spaceship Earth, I have Guardians of the Galaxy, and I have a task where I can count steps in between two attractions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do Spaceship Earth, and then in between Spaceship Earth and Guardians, I'm gonna count how many steps there are between those two attractions. And we'll be golden because Emma and I, we have a plan. This is the iconic attraction of this park because it is the park's icon in the big golf ball, as some people like to call it. But this is a slow moving dark ride retelling the story of communication from the beginning of time all the way to the computer age. Now, it's a little bit of a longer attraction in regards to average Disney rides, so that's not great for this game, but excuse me, for this great game, but that's okay because right now, we're gathering up all these cards, so it will take us a little bit of time. It's only a 10 minute wait. It looks longer than 10 minutes just by the line outside. But we're gonna test it, 12.42. Guys that journey into imagination and world nature. I'm just about living with the land. Uh, I might as well get a piece of it too. I've got a soaring card. Although I could see if I can get something better by doing a task. I think I'll do something, I'll see if I can get something better by doing a task. Let's count steps between attractions. I'm gonna walk from here to uh, I'm gonna walk over here to find Nemo because I'm already here and count the steps of my task. So I know Emma earlier made a little bit of a, of a flub. She was gonna do the, um, I believe the Skyliner. Uh, and for some reason she thought we were at Hollywood Studios and went to the front of the park uh, and got, and, ha and had to completely uh, change strategies. Well, I have two properties. I have the Skyliner and Friendship the friendship boat. And because of the uh, tasks I just did, I've got $600. Each of those properties is about $200. Uh, but that would get me half of the properties uh, for the railroads. So I might get on some transportation for a little bit and uh, just relax, relax for a second. I deserve it. The International Gateway is used uh, predominantly for the uh, people staying at the Epcot Resort. We're talking about the Boardwalk, Yacht and Beach Club, Swan and Dolphin, uh, those resorts. Uh, and there's a back entrance into, into Epcot. As well as right next to the International Gateway, there's the Disney Skyliner, which has access to uh, Riviera Resort, Caribbean Beach Resort. And uh, you can get off at a station to transfer to Art of Animation Resort, Pop Century, and of course, Disney's Hollywood Studios. But I just have to get on a quick Skyliner route and it looks like we got we got well, we got Scrooge Thank you 266 267 268 269 270 271 272 okay Not the season theme on friends. It was 272 steps from journey into imagination with figment made a little money there It should be helpful and I did get a better card than Soren. I got Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind Which is in a land where no one owns any property yet so I'm definitely headed over there um, to buy it as long as no one else is headed that way. While I was using my intentional strategy, Sage bought the Skyliner. I'm very offended. Um, it was really rude. However, I actually um, ended up pulling the monorail card after I did <laughs> Living with the Land. So in a way, I think this meant I was never supposed to go back there in my heart and soul. And I think that this is magic happening for me. So I'm gonna go to the monorail and hope that it's fine. And I think it's, it's gonna be fine and maybe I can barter with Sage later. And my biggest fear has happened. We are stopped on the Skyliner. Yeah, we're, oh, we're just moving very slowly right now. This is not good for the game! Looks like Sage just drew a get out of jail free card. Doesn't really have any effect on me, but the effect that it does have is that it means there's one less get out of jail free card in the deck, and I do not want to go to jail. Spaceship Earth is done. Now I think I need to do a task. I have to sneeze. Phew! <laughs> Weird sneeze, hope you didn't keep that in. Um, okay, 
So I can review a bathroom, which there's one right here outside Spaceship Earth. So I'm gonna do that, earn some money, and then hopefully I get a good card after that. Because right now, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna review this bathroom right here, right outside of Spaceship Earth. It's a very nice bathroom, um, pretty average when it comes to busy bathrooms, but the aesthetic is cool. It's right outside Spaceship Earth. It's at the front of the park, so if you first get here in the morning and you need to go to the bathroom, great. But that also means it might be a little crowded. But it's also kind of tucked away. There's one on each side. So this is the green one, the other side is red. So, pretty good bathroom. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna count steps between two attractions. We can do Spaceship Earth to Moana, we'll do that, okay. And wow, this is a long, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to Miami right now. There's America, there's Japan. We are going really far away from our destination. You know what? I wonder if we, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, we're gonna take the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios, and we're gonna take the Friendship Boat from Hollywood Studios back to Epcot, and that will count as our second card, because uh, we have to, well, our second property, we have to do the, fr the Friendship Boats uh, that have to do with Hollywood Studios. So, I think that's the route we're gonna do. So for me, Spaceship Earth to Journey of Moana, 187 steps. I'm also gonna click Journey of Water. Maybe we go to Grand Fiesta Tour, that's another property that we can have. I think that's what we're gonna do. To Mexico. I literally saw the monorail starting to pull around as I was walking up. So that means it's close and if I can get up to the top, what is that sign? Oh no, okay, I can go ahead and get on and that means I won't have to wait on it. But if I don't get up to it for this, for when it comes around right now, um, I'm gonna have to wait quite a while because they are not as consistent between here and the TTC as Magic Kingdoms, just because demand is not as high. If you don't know what this is, it's their highway in the sky. It's their fun little train system, essentially. Uh, it's not really a train, but that's the best way to describe it. And it takes you to the Ticket and Transportation Center, Magic Kingdom, and the Magic Kingdom Resorts, which are Grand Floridian, um, the Polynesian, and the contemporary. So I love the monorail. It's one of those things that makes me feel like a kid every single time. It's so cute. And it's gonna take me a while to get from here to Magic Kingdom to back, but that's okay. Gotta sacrifice. And we made it just in time. Great timing, friends. Okay. Emma is going to the monorail, which is one of my, uh, which is definitely one of my monopolies. So I wonder if she's going to be willing to trade later on today, but I gotta get something that she wants. So I have Soren on my list. I'm gonna have to get Soren before she does, uh, because she has living with the land. So I wonder if she'll be willing to trade the monorail for Soren once I acquire Soren. But uh, we've got a long time until then because we are just, transportating it away. Uh, I think this is a pretty expensive property. Now, uh, the only way to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is either by buying an individual lightning lane or by getting in the virtual queue. Virtual queue drops happen at 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. Sometimes there are extras, but those are the main ones. And you have an hour return window. If you're a little late, just talk to a cast member. In our experience, we've been really late for our Guardians queues and been able to get in. Luckily, it's actually the window for ours that Emma grabbed this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in. Good news is that I'm in line for Guardians. I will own this, which will give me a property in World Discovery, which no one has anything in yet. The bad news is the line is kind of long, so hopefully everyone else doesn't get a ton of property in the meantime. And the other bad news is that I'm in jail after this. Ah, oh, I totally jinxed it by talking about the get out of jail free part. All right, now I have finally made it over to the World Showcase for the first time in this video, and we are stopping in Mexico. We're gonna ride the Grand Fiesta Tour, which is the ride here in the Mexico Pavilion. It's actually inside the pavilion, which is super cool. It's one of my favorites, one of my family's favorite rides that we always used to do coming here on our trips. This pavilion is one of my favorites just because it's different than all the rest. You come inside and it feels like you're in a market at nighttime. It's just different than all the rest. I enjoy it. One of my favorites. I think it has one of the best attractions, which might be controversial. I don't know, but let's go ride it. All right, I have made it to the, oh, it's Wendy. I've made it to the Caribbean Beach Resort, which is the big transfer area where you can either go to Art of Animation Resort, Pop Century Resort over there, uh, obviously Disney Riviera over here and Epcot. Uh, but we're gonna go to Hollywood Studios, which is right in front of us. Oh, we've got a clear one, which means we'll be able to see 
really well. Typically the gondolas uh, with the big pictures, the graphics, the casings uh, for Tigger or Huey, Dewey and Louie, whatever, the big pictures, uh, they make it a little harder to see. But the ones without any, look how clear that view is. Whee! Yeah! We're doing it! Going to Hollywood Studios! now there's 45 minutes to meet on and Elsa I'm not gonna do that it's a little too long um, I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back this challenge requires a lot of walking I'm gonna go back to living with the land to pay Emma because I don't want to pay Quincy for Guardians so I'm gonna go do living with the land after a long and relaxing Skyliner ride we have officially made it to Hollywood Studios at the Tower of Terror, uh, the uh, Chinese Theater, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, and we, oh, and there's our friendship boat. Oh my gosh, stay there. I wanna be very clear, me too. Oh, I can hear the honking, they're leaving. Dang it. I was just gonna say, I hope no one thinks this is a personal attack against Quincy, because I know she likes boats, but, ah, the boat's leaving. And there it goes. Okay, I'm, re I'm really hoping another one shows up soon. Now the Friendship Boats at Hollywood Studios. Uh, they will take you to the Swan and Dolphin Hotel, the Yacht and Beach Club, the Boardwalk, and of course Epcot's International Gateway. Boat departs every 20 minutes. Uh, which means we've got a little bit. So hopefully, hopefully they're running a little ahead of schedule. Because this is really going to eat into my time. Outside the land, I'm gonna pay rent to Emma. I'm gonna do it twice because we are in a secret alliance. For Emma. Ooh, Remy's is one of my cards now. Let's check the wait time. It's probably gonna be a no-go. 55 minute wait, not doing that. Ugh. Is that bad strategy? I don't want to wait an hour though. Don't want to wait an hour. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go share an item at a festival booth. We're gonna do that. We'll think about Remy's on the way because strategically that might be smart. It would waste an hour in line, but then people would be paying me big rent later. I gotta think about it. I gotta think. Alrighty, next task share an item at a festival booth that no one else has. So we're at Yukon, which is in Canada. Um, ooh, snickerdoodle cookie. I made the Snickers pieces. That sounds lovely. We decided we're gonna go hop in Remy's line. We're gonna go for it. Might not be the best strategy, but I think it will help me later whenever I own the most expensive property on the board. So it's not gonna be fun standing in line for an hour. Maybe it won't be a full hour. Maybe 45 minutes would be nice. But somebody's gotta do it. So we're gonna go do it. Emma, Crying is the Galaxy Celtic Rewind. Absolutely amazing ride, 100% a must too. Just heads up, it is kind of a unique attraction. The coaster spins all your in it. It's very smooth and I get motion sickness on some rides, but not this one. Some people get really bad motion sickness on this. So just a heads up. It is super fun though. Um, but I'm off it, I did get Disco Inferno. That's why I'm not as excited as I would be if I got anything else. Disco Inferno is the song I've gotten more than any other. I call it the Disco Inferno curse. Um, and usually I get it like nine, ten times in a row. And uh, that was my third time getting it in a row. So I'm definitely cursed right now. There's six different songs you can get. Six! And I keep getting Disco Inferno. But now I'm in jail. So I'm headed to jail. Which is just peachy. 
Um, jail this time are some Epcot throwbacks in a way. There are interactive play areas at the exit of some attractions and uh, we can spend time in any of the four main ones. So I was actually closest to Mission Space and Test Track, but I think I'm gonna stroll over to Spaceship Earth because I like that one better and we have to spend a good amount of time there. So I'm going to jail. I'm gonna go spend time in Project Tomorrow as my, as my jail. Okay, we've made it back to Epcot. It took me about 30 minutes, so not horrible. Um, but, you know, in that time, Sage pretty much bought every card I have in my hand. And I'm, for the most part, I'm losing. And you know what? That's okay. However, what isn't okay is not only am I about to go bankrupt immediately, um, but also I'm in jail. Found out I'm in jail. So, I guess I'm going to prison. All right. Headed to Project Tomorrow for jail. Hey, are you in jail? Yeah, are you in jail? in jail? No, we're in jail, jail together. I did nothing wrong. I stopped for a coffee. What? That's oh. not what I did wrong. I forgot what park I was in, so that's my that's punishment. What you're, that's why you got sent to jail? I'm also about to go bankrupt. No way, it's yeah. very early. <laughs> well, I'll explain. Uh, before I talk to Quincy about why I'm bankrupt, this is Project Tomorrow. They've got some cool games in here, lots of activities, which we can do together. Yeah, we can. Pretty pumped together. about that. Little did they know jail was gonna be fun. The best thing that ever happened to us. <laughs> also, you leave Spaceship Earth when you get off the ride, so that's where we're at, located at Pot, Orlando, Florida, USA, the planet Earth, Milky Way Galaxy. Dang it, I'm out. <sighs> okay, all right. We are now in the back of the France Pavilion, which is home to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, which will work for my task to name something that has been added to the park in the last five years, and that is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. It is less than five years old, new addition here. They actually expanded the France Pavilion to put this attraction here. It's the exact same ride as in Disneyland Paris, but it is a darker attraction where you shrink down to the size of a rat and you see things from Remy's perspective. It is 3D, so just be aware if you do tend to get a little bit of motion sickness, you might on this ride, but it's nothing too bad, at least in my experience, but we are gonna do it 55 minutes. I finally made it back to Epcot, the International Gateway. I've gotta make some money. And luckily it says go to a bathroom and review it, uh, a bathroom that nobody has talked about yet, so. I'm gonna go to the International Gateway restrooms, mostly because I really just have to go to the bathroom but let's review it while we're here. All right, surprisingly, that's gonna be your most standard bathroom. It's literally tiles, brown tiles to match the decor of the building. Uh, it's actually smaller than I thought it was. There's only four or five stalls. Uh, a lot of times for these Disney bathrooms, they don't actually have mirrors uh, over the sinks. That way, you know, you can check how you're doing <laughs> physically and emotionally. They actually just have one big mirror that's somewhere uh, kind of in, in a distant corner. That way uh, you, they can kind of keep things moving. Uh, that way no one's like primping and grooming for a long time in front of a sink when someone's trying, trying to wash their hands. Uh, Cause these bathrooms can get pretty busy. All right, now that I am back in Epcot, I do have to make some money, but one of my cards is actually uh, Canada Far and Wide, which I already own. So I'm gonna go to Canada Far and Wide real quick, check in my property, get rid of the card, and uh, hopefully I can get some big ticket items. Uh, just so I can make money. I'm not trying to spend money right now. Just trying to make some. Can on the far and wide. Looks pretty good. No leakage. No mold. Uh, structure seems structural. Structure seems structural. Landlord of the year, people. All right, now I I need to make some money, so I need to count the stuff between attractions. I've played this game a lot lately. Okay, well Sage was really bad at it, so you better be better. It's like shuffleboard, but it doesn't work that well. <laughs> so this section of Epcot is like definitely kind of a relic. It opened with, I believe, the last Spaceship Earth update, which was uh, definitely over a decade ago, I think over 15 years ago. Um, but we're gonna play Power City. But the two attractions I'm gonna I'm gonna walk between are uh, the Pixar uh, Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival and Journey into Imagination with Figment. They are right next to each other. Currently, uh, Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival are playing uh, three different shorts. Uh, it's kind of like a, a 3D, 4D situation. Uh, there's some lights, fog, some fun uh, effects as well. Sorry, here we go. We're starting. Uh, and by the way, it's about 25 minutes. All right, here we go. Now, one, 38, front of the entrance. 38 steps, 38 stage steps, not bad. Okay, so the cards 
aren't super nice to me right now. I've run out of tasks where I can make money. So I have to, I have to purchase properties. Uh, right now, let's see, Journey to Imagination. Let's see, Journey to Imagination with Figment. Uh, who has that? Oh, let's see, Fry already has Journey to Imagination with Figment. Um, Fry has Grand Fiesta Tour. Uh, so I'm gonna hop in Soren. Uh, Soren's only gonna cost me $80, and currently it's still a 10-minute wait. But once I purchased Soren for $80, it did say that I had to go to jail. Luckily, I already had a get out of jail free card, which means I did not have to go to jail. So lucked out there. Let's ride Soren. Soren is a hang gliding motion simulator attraction uh, where you fly high above all of the different scenescapes. Uh, currently, at the time of filming, it is Soren over California, which is the original version of Soren, where you got we have really interesting uh, scenescapes of uh, different views of California, for example, you know, orange groves. Uh, different golf courses, uh, but you can definitely smell the orange groves. Uh, it, even at the end, you get a really cool picture of Disneyland. We got out of jail, finally. That was a long, it was a long jail. Long jail. I mean, not really, but it felt long. They put us to work at Power City. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got a new job. This is me leaving all ears. Oh my gosh, you're into power now? Uh, well, I got a job. I can't just tell them no. You can't. Power City needs me. <laughs> All right, well, good luck. Bye, jail. Bye, bye, jail. Inmate friends for life. Okay, now that I'm finally out of jail, it's I'm gonna spend some money because that's literally my only option. Um, let's see, what is my hand? I have two rents I could pay to Sage, not gonna do. One more rent I could pay to Sage, or two things I could buy. So I'm near Mission Space, so I'm gonna go purchase Mission Space on the green side. Not because it's shorter, but because the orange makes me feel weird. Okay, here we go. Mission Space, if you've never been on this one, it is a flight simulation ride, where on the green you get to circle the globe, and then on the orange, which is slightly more intense, um, you actually get to go to Mars. Both are really fun. If you have pretty severe motion sickness, definitely do the green. It's a lot more easy, um, but the orange is a bit more intense, a little bit more fun. And frankly, the orange doesn't make me feel that bad, but I just want to risk it today. We've got a long day of Monopoly. All right, I'm headed into Creation Shop real quick. I'm gonna show off some merch that nobody else has, and I'm gonna show off this Walt Disney World Eras mug. The Eras collection is a really cool collection they're doing right now that has merchandise items that commemorate different eras of Disney, uh, the Disney company. So this is a Walt Disney cartoonist mug, and I just think it's adorable, and I love the shape of the mug. Um, so it's very cute, but that's that collection. And then, okay. Oh, I don't love my hand right now because a lot of the things I have are um, places that I can't, that I would have to pay rent on. I'm specifically avoiding Sage's railroads because his rent for railroads is a hundred because he owns two. I don't want to pay that. But luckily I have the World Showcase boat and I can afford it. So at least I can stop his rent from getting higher and maybe get myself a bargaining chip for when we start thinking about trading. But uh, I'm going to head that way. All right, that risk was worth the reward because posted 55 minutes, it was only 30. So that was really nice, good surprise. That's a good one for me to own. People are gonna pay me big rent later. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do next. I think what I'm gonna do is go to Canada far and wide, pay Sage a little rent, and then find a merchandise item that no one has talked about yet. But unfortunately, that merchandise item has to be at Creations or World Traveler. It can't just be any merchandise item. It is this store back here at the International Gateway. So if you don't know, over there, there's a secret entrance into Epcot. But we're gonna go find merchandise item. Here we've got some nice purple Disney 100 Crocs. And it's got a little Mickey, what are they called, gibbets? 100. Okay, bad news. So I'm seeing the World Showcase boat leaving right now, which means I'm not in the right spot to get it. I'm gonna circle back because um, that's a long wait, and I have another card that I think is a little better. Something tells me we're gonna have a situation like we did in Magic Kingdom, where no one is gonna get the Monopoly they want, and then we're gonna have some wild trade that's gonna be very dramatic at lunch. Um. Yeah, because World Showcase right can't be gotten. 
World Celebration can't be gotten because two people have it. Probably could still get World Showcase left, which is why it's really good that I'm going to where I'm going, which is to me Anna and Elsa, so I'll walk her there. World Nature's can't be gotten, World Discovery can't be gotten, and even the tr railroads uh, can't be all owned by one person. So we're definitely getting to trade territory. So I'm gonna move a little quick to make sure that I have some leverage. Luckily, I also have money this time. This time in the last game, I was like $7. Listen, Monopoly in Disney World, harder than you think. Okay, that's good. It's a 20 minute wait. The wait line's outside, but I'm headed to Royal Summer House to meet Anna and Elsa. Hi. Last time I saw Anna and Elsa, it was in Hong Kong at the opening of World of Frozen, which was absolutely amazing. So wonderful. And you can check out that video on the channel. But uh, this looks like it's probably longer than 20 minutes, but. I will wait. I just drew a card that says, get your friends a souvenir. I had to pay everybody $15. That's not cool. Okay, so talking strategy. I do need to make more money, but I am nervous that someone is going to take the world showcase boats. Um, Cause I would really love to get the, the railroad monopoly. Uh, Emma has the monorail. And I feel like, because I got sore and she might be willing to trade. But I think the better strategy is to buy, buy before properties continue to go away. And I really wanna get this monopoly so that way people can continue to pay me rent. Uh, but in here, I'm gonna go into the port of entry and uh, hope, I'm hopefully gonna see if I can uh, pin trade with the cast member. I've got, a concern. I'm gonna trade this Pluto probably. Uh, and I think I'm gonna get that fun Mickey Mouse like pirate. That's. That's fun. I love that. That's cool. All right. I've successfully pin traded. I'm going to have to start paying a little bit of rent in order to, uh, you know, uh, to hopefully get some cards that will make me more money. Quincy is currently in line for Anna and Elsa. So by that point, like she's about to own it. So I can't do that. But I think I'm just going to go pay rent to Sage in Canada and hopefully you get a good card. I always like to say, go explore every pavilion in Epcot because look at this, look at how cool this is. All the way in the back of Canada, even if you don't want to watch Canada far and wide, you can come back here and hang out, take some cool pictures. There's a cool waterfall. And now I have to yell because I don't think you can hear me. But I love it back here. All right, Canada far and wide is behind me. Ah, I'm getting wet. I'm gonna pay stage rent. Oh, and now I'm in jail. Oh, straight to jail. Here I go. Just finished up on Mission Space, and it's fun. I think it's cute. Um, not necessarily a must-do, must-do, but like the wait times are almost always low unless it's just a really crazy busy day. So I think it's cute. That being said, you know, the whole time I thought, Sage bought the boat, Sage bought the boat, Sage bought the boat. He did but not the ones I have. And if I can get back there, I think I can go buy the World Showcase boats. He bought the Friendship boat. Okay, here we are, Friendship Landing, transportation around the World Showcase. It comes every 15 minutes, which means I probably have about a 15 minute wait right now, but it takes you back and forth between here, which is the entrance of the World Showcase towards Canada, all the way to Morocco. So I only have properties. After I did pin trading, I did get some money, but I only have properties left. In fact, I have Grand Fiesta Tour twice. Uh, rent is $38, so that's an easy $76 for Fry Bucket. Uh, 38, 30, yeah, that's the 76. <laughs> I'm an actor, I'm a singer, not a mather. Um, so, I, uh, right now I've got $310. Um, if I just quickly go to Grand Fiesta Tour, all I have to do is just visit the location twice. I'm gonna knock out those two cards. It's not a bad spend that will hopefully get me more money. So Grand Fiesta Tour, we'll go inside. All right, we made it to Grand Fiesta Tour, one of my favorite ways to experience uh, the Mexico Pavilion. I'm gonna walk around the, I'm gonna walk around the, the uh, gonna walk around the Mexico market. Now, oh, so sorry. Wow, it's so pretty. Now, I'm here for a second time. Let's get some new cards. Here's your rent, Fry. Now, one of our spots, one of our options for jail is Imageworks, which is the What If Labs, the area that you come out of after Journey into Imagination with Figment. There's a lot of fun activities in here for kiddos, a lot of it having to do with 
musical activities and things like that. Also back here is where you can meet Joy from, oh gosh, Inside Out. I was having a brain fart moment. You can meet Joy from Inside Out or Figment himself. He has much longer line, but it's nothing compared to opening day. I have started my timer. Let's have some fun. All right, well, I only pulled one thing that could make me money. So I'm actually gonna do single rider test track. I'm gonna claim test track, I'm gonna claim that property. Uh, I'm gonna walk uh, uh, to the front of the park uh, because that will be closer than walking all the way to International Gateway, which I've already spent a lot of time in. Uh, and I'm gonna get some money at the front of the park and then hopefully just keep on racking it up. We're, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make this happen, y'all. Hey, can you say hi to all my friends in here? They're, this is magic, troll magic. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Anna, Queen Anna of Arendelle. I hope you can all come visit Arendelle sometime and we can all build a snowman together. Test track is currently 60 minutes, but because I am by myself, we're gonna go into the single rider line. Not many Disney attractions have single rider uh, lines anymore. There are only a few that do. Uh, test track being one of them, Smuggler's Run, uh, Expedition Everest, and Rock and Roller Coaster. Now Test Track is a thrill ride where you design your own car and then you get to test it out. Now in the single rider line, you are able to still design your own car, but it is a modified shortened version. You're not gonna get to do all the different things. There are basically some presets that you can make some tweaks to. Okay, I just felt Queen Elsa and Anna. I love talking to them. Um, Elsa was very sweet. She told me to keep an eye for Olaf because he said he was headed out to get Gorgeous Lee's hand and sometimes he doesn't wear a snow screen. Silly snowman. So we're gonna keep an eye out for him. But I own Royal Summer House now. I own their summer home. So uh, Anna and Elsa rent for me. Yeah, uh, I'm a nice landlord though. Um, I make sure their pipes work. Okay, Fry is in jail. That's good. Um, oh, Emma got World Showcase boats. Oh man. Sage bought Test Track. Are all the properties bought? No, Frozen Ever After is still available. And so is Pixar Short Film Festival. I don't have either of those cards. Um, I think that we should do a kid caught activity. Oh my goodness, Frozen Ever After has a 105 minute wait. I don't think anybody's gonna be snagging that one even if they get the card in their hand. That's pretty much a monopoly bankruptcy sentence. So in each World Showcase Pavilion, you'll find these kid caught fun stops. These are a spot where you can do little crafts. It's a great way to keep kiddos engaged while mom and dad are having a nice time enjoying World Showcase. Um, so they're really cool and little kiddos get little things to collect along the way. But uh, there's a lot of people here right now, so I'm just gonna hang out for a sec before I do my kick out stop here. Come here often? I do. Now I am in desperate need for some moolah, some money. Uh, and I was checking, I was checking all my cards and I, I, I was checking all my cards and I see that I have Journey into Imagination with Figment twice. I have two of, uh, of those property cards. Quincy actually owns that property, but she's only charging $5 for rent, uh, which that's a, that's a quick, easy, uh, pay your 10 bucks, give me some new cards, hopefully a way uh, for me to make more money. And I do actually have two more ways to make money after that. Uh, so I think, it, I think we're gonna make some money real quick, and then hopefully we're gonna purchase up some of these other properties. And when we start, uh, hopefully, uh, trading some properties, I'll have some extra, uh, you know, cash to persuade them to give me some of their, their things. Okay, I've made it to the World Showcase boat entrance back here, and I'm going to pay my rent. World Showcase boat. Made it to Morocco, and now I'm gonna ride back. Because I have to go to the land anyways. I am right by La Marche de Noël, which is the France booth, and uh, my favorite item from the festival this year is at this booth, so I'm gonna share that one with you all. It is the creme de salmon fumé en brioche à lana concombre, which is cream of smoked salmon and house-made dill brioche bread with cucumber. It is so good. It looks like a pretty patty from SpongeBob, and I highly recommend it if you like, like, cold salmon salad sandwiches. Epcot is the only park that has two entrances. There's the main entrance up front in front of Spaceship Earth, and there's also an entrance in the back coming from the Epcot area hotels, uh, which is called International Gateway. So uh, I am here at International Gateway, 
walk over and explain uh, how to get to somewhere else in Disney World from there. Oh my gosh, I just keep getting properties. Okay, I, you know what? Uh, I also got Soren to my own property, which means I need to go uh, check on that. And then, hopefully that'll give me another card. I need more things that will make me money. I also did get Frozen. And you know what? That might be a really interesting play. I, I just drew Frozen, which is a 110 minute wait. So far, no one has claimed Frozen. But I wonder if that is, because basically you can't, you can't continue to play the game if you're in line waiting to purchase a property. So I wonder, while everyone else is paying rent, going to a bunch of different locations, that's when I go in line to Frozen. <laughs> That might be a super interesting play. And that's strategy, baby. Okay, all right, I gotta check on Soren so we can keep on rolling. Soren's looking mighty dandy. Uh, I've got literally five minutes to make 150 bucks, uh, which is definitely worth it. I only have 129 left. And now right next door, we are gonna go do the Disney Pixar short film festival. This, I actually really enjoy this. This is a show with three different short films, all different animation styles. I think they're all great. Um, it's underrated. Also, you can eat your piggy back here. But we're gonna go watch the show. But the Seas with Nemo and Friends is usually a, uh, a super low wait time anyway, so I'm really hoping that that is the case today. Look at that, five minutes. Okay, here goes nothing. Hey, the seagulls, they're here. Thank goodness it's lunch break because I don't have a single card that doesn't have me paying rent to somebody. And I have $370, which is fine because rents aren't very high except for on the railroads right now. But it's not great. And I have a lot of railroads. We have decided that we're going to take our lunch break at Sunshine Seasons in the Land Pavilion. And I don't know if some, some serious trades are going to go down or not. Hopefully Emma and I will be able to help each other out without giving the Alliance away. Because we can't let Sage and Quincy know that we're secretly working together. Forever. All right, real talk, Fry. What do you what do you want for Remy's? A million dollars. But if you got Journey of Water, I can give you Soren. I have I have two I have two of uh, of the rail of the railroad Skyliner and the Friendship DHS. Rent is a hundred dollars on each of those bad boys right now. Care about the railroads. They're gonna rack up. It's gonna rack up. What do you want for Canada? I'm gonna need a lot for Canada. What about <laughs> Spaceship Earth and Pixar? Spaceship Earth and Pixar. Which how much was swear where is that? I'm looking. World Spaceship. celebration. Thank you. Spaceship Earth and Pixar. The only the only way we even willing to attempt that is if out of the goodness of our heart. If right now, in this moment, you can convince Quincy <laughs> to give me Journey to Imagination. There it is. You are so pretty. <laughs> it's all gonna work. And I will, so I will so take hard. I will take this entire game down with me. You guys can all, you'll have to bankrupt me. You will have to take me out. I'll just have zero dollars in on the streets. Girl, on the you streets. see the stats right now? Yes, that I see them. Hard. You know what? I'll bankrupt for you. You can take them both down. You are to no. no. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm you know what? Emma, what do you want for Mission Space? Well, if you're unwilling to give me both boats, um, Soren, a thousand dollars, and also Canada Far and Wide. Listen, Fry, Fry already I pushed it to her I limit. I would have to say Soren. Done. I will. I will make that trade with you right now. Okay. However, before I do that. The, right, the only way this trade goes through is if Quincy, would you do it for the Skyliner and the? Would you give me Guardians of the Galaxy for the Skyliner and the Friendship Boat? That's the only way I can do this deal. That's two hundred dollars. So here's what how I'm feeling. Oh, this is, gonna... <laughs> this is so difficult. how I'm feeling is that. Um, um, 
You know what I feel like right now? I feel like the meme of the guy in front of the whiteboard. Uh -huh. well, <laughs> well, my issue also, and this happened to me last time, is that I've created a world where I pretty much can't win and instead have just caused a problem for every other one of you. So, every single All Ears video. So <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I get. I turn bad in these games. This is the yeah. competition. It's okay. Crying competition is not the same woman we love. No. And She's they different. call me the villain! <laughs> yeah, Throw in 200 bucks. Oh. 100 bucks. He doesn't have it. 150. 149. Deal. Done. I have a triple trade to propose. Yes. My proposal, it involves you two. <laughs> My triple trade is, Emma, you give me your remaining railroads. <laughs> uh, you'll, hey, listen, hear me out, okay? Fry, in return for you giving me your railroads, Fry gives you Journey of Water, giving you a monopoly in world nature. I'm aware. In return for you giving her a journey of water, I give you Figment, giving you a Monopoly World Celebration. What? You want to do that trade? I think, I mean, I think that... I think, I think I could agree to that trade. You guys both get a Monopoly, then Sage has a Monopoly. Uh, I, I, Fry and I still each hold on an L Star Grand Fiesta Tour. We just see what happens with Frozen. And then Remy's in Canada stays a stalemate. That would be the end of this. I think that's all we can do. Everyone feels good about trading. Yes. yes. There is news. We have an end time of this game. What? The, the game has to end at 6 p.m., right? Oh, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> the wait for Frozen is now too long for anyone to buy Frozen before the end of the day. What happens in this scenario is that Frozen goes to auction. Right now. I would like, I'll start the bidding at 100. 100? 100. Uh, 101. <laughs> 102. <laughs> no. 200. Oh wow, you, you want this. Yeah, I have nothing. <laughs> okay, Whitney Houston. Okay. 225. 250. 300. 300? 300. I've been out. They outbid me immediately. Hold <laughs> well, on, I have to. 250. And it is the gift card. I'm on the phone with. Your bank? No, no, with. Sorry, with my client. I don't want to have a say They say 310. Are you kidding? 400. <gasps> Sorry. Oh my gosh, he's about to bid. He's out? Game. He's out? I really thought if it was Is anybody counterbidding? I don't have that much. Are you outbidding? I thought he was going to bid. Frozen the fine. Hey guys, it's been a lot of fun. I get it. I get it. I don't remember any. There's nothing more stressful than Monopoly lunch. Oh, no, Monopoly lunch. Uh, thanks for ruining my evil plan to do Frozen and not have to pay rent. Ugh. You're being suspicious. No, we're not. Well, that's why they said. That's why they said. You guys didn't need to wait on oh, us. Oh wow! No, we were switching fuel rods. That's actually we were. Are they teaming up on you? No. She's already losing. That's not what's happening. You heartless. I'm having a why did you think we were all getting up on her? I don't trust you, <laughs> but I have places to be. Okay. Fine. Bye. All right. Bye. You're why are you saying? Oh, I'm oh. Go I have to do this way. Bye, Quincy. Bye, Quincy. We're gonna go this way. So what's the plan? There's, okay. <laughs> There's no plan. I'm kidding. The plan for Frema? The plan is you need to work on your bluffing face. Girl, you just about I'm, gave it away. I've never been a good liar. <gasps> Ever. Goodness. Never. Um, I don't think it's working out. What do you mean? Our whole alliance. But you and I both have a monopoly. We just have well, to play we do. for each other. We just have to play. Yeah, no, that's true. And like, if I have to pay some rent somewhere, I'm gonna pick lose. you over Quincy or Sage. Like, I'm gonna oh, go to your property. Okay, yes. That's how it's gonna work. That makes sense. 
because I'm I was at a loss. We're gonna make each other money. Yeah, I've never been a successful monopolizer. All right, it's okay. I'm it's here good. to help you. I'm gonna go do a pin trade. Oh, fun! Yeah, make a little cash. I'm gonna. I'm pretty broke. Ride Nemo. Oh, I wish I could ride Nemo. I have it twice. What? Two different cards for riding Nemo. I've already ridden it once today. I've not gotten it once, so I'm gonna go do a pin trade. Okay, that's fun. All right. Cool. So, Frema. Frema out. I just want you to know there's definitely something fishy They're going on. They're doing over there. something for sure. There's so something fishy is going on. Frema. I'm going to pay some rent at Soren. I do not have a lot of money, and all the cards in my hand are paying rent. But luckily, um, the game just resumed from lunch break, and no one has had time to build houses on their Monopoly. So I can still afford rent everywhere with my meager hundred something dollars. But Soren's rent's only 16, so we're gonna head in and pay some rent at Soren. All right, so I'm gonna pay rent on some of these attractions uh, while uh, they are still low in rent uh, to hopefully get some of this, hopefully get some cards. Now, I do have Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind, and Mission Space cards, and I have the Monopoly on World Discovery, so I'm gonna head over there and try and build my Monopoly. Build my property up, baby. But first, Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival. Here's your money, Fry. Now, this is kinda crazy. All of my cards, um, four out of my five cards that I have right now would give money to Quincy, and one would give money to Sage. Mm. Okay, everything that happened back there during the trade, I couldn't tell you what happened. I don't know. I turned my brain off from Monopoly. I let the cards draw themselves and hope for the best. So one of my cards say do a pin trade, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to do one here in the seas, but if you don't know, you can buy little pins throughout Disney World, and they have different pin boards where you can collect or you can trade them. So you can buy starter sets. They're everywhere in almost every single store. Here's some. Um, you can buy little starter sets. They're super, super cute. And you can go around trading for special ones. I mean, it's like a whole community. I actually love doing it. Like, look how neat these are. So I'm gonna see if they have a pin board. If they don't, I know where we can find one pretty easily. But if you've never done this, these are also my favorite souvenirs in the world. These, like, a pin is the one guaranteed thing that I'll buy almost every single Disney trip. So let's pin trade. So this is what I traded. So I had my Mickey before. But I ended up trading for this Mr. Smee and Captain Hook because honestly it's very unique and I've not seen this one in particular. Now sometimes there will be fakes, like not real Disney pins on the boards and some people are very very aware of that. So if that's something you don't want, something that maybe is not an official Disney pin, make sure to check the back. You can always tell um, based on the designs on the back or you can even ask the cast members. This one has the official pin trading logo. It's kind of hard to see but it's down there. And so that's kind of how you know that Disney actually made this one. This one was, let's see, says, I think it says 2013, maybe 2018. But you can tell that this one is a real Disney pin. Some people don't mind if they're not real as long as they like the pin. Just do what you want to do, but also remember that sometimes you might be trading for something and it was cheaper. But for me, I personally don't care as long as I like the character. But you do for you. I also don't know where I'm going now. You know what? I gotta go to jail. Luckily, Mission Space, uh, the interactive uh, area at the end of the attraction, uh, that's one of the jails uh, that we can spend time in for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go there and then we can start building up our Monopoly because that's where we need to go anyway. I figured out another task I can do because one of my cards is to go show something, talk about something that people can rent. And I didn't, somebody already said strollers and ECVs. So I was like, what else can you rent? Let me show you. You can rent lockers. So up at the front of each park, you can rent lockers for the day. Um, Epcot does have, specifically, Epcot has bigger lockers and they have smaller ones. So you can come in here, if you have stuff that you don't wanna carry around and rent a locker for the day. Oh my goodness, I am really just walking back and forth at this park. Now, of all of my options to pay rent, um, all of them are Quincy. Wow, lucky her. But I'm gonna do the cheapest one, which looks like is Guardians of the Galaxy. So we're gonna head over to Guardians and pay Quincy her rent. Oh, and now I'm in jail. Um, the test track it is for jail. So for this round of jail, I've decided to come over to test track. This is a very popular ride here in Epcot where you design your own 
<laughs> you design your own car and test it. And it's really fun. It's got a single rider entrance, which is what I love. But we're gonna come over here to the exit and there's little games in here, kind of like Figment earlier. So there's fun stuff to check out. Fresh air. We don't know what's what it's like in there, man. I don't want to be in jail. Now I am currently in standing in my own Monopoly, and I do, and I've Mission Space twice and Guardian of the Galaxy. So let's check in on, on our properties and let's start building them up. Mission Space. Ooh. Okay. So I just built four houses over here at Mission Space, which means I have a hotel now, and Mission Space is now a Mission Space hotel for fifteen hundred dollars. See what happens. I mean, now we, now, now we seriously have to go make some money. Oh man, not feeling great. I have $103 and that's it. And uh, see, it's just built four houses and a hotel on Mission Space. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's $1,500 to go there now. Luckily, I got some options here. I'm headed to pay rent at Spaceship Earth, uh, which is just $12. So go pay rent over there and then hopefully get another card. I'll be below 100 then. I have two Remy's Ratatouille Adventures, so I really don't want to go there because rent's still 50 there. Journey of Water is 18. I can afford that right now. I'll go to Journey of Water and hope for a better card. I'm right next to it. It's only a few bucks more than station birth hopefully that doesn't bite me and i got a task I got a task to walk in to explain how to get to another part of disney world that i can do maybe i'll pay the spaceship earth rent on the way since i know they'll make that money back from my task um so i'm going to go to creations and talk about some merchandise that people have not talked about yet make a little cash so mickey ears and mickey ear walls are like a total culture here i have so many. I don't want to admit how many because frankly I lost count. So today let's pick out some ears that I don't own but I really want and I think out of the options probably these Leia ears. I love Princess Leia so much and I love these ears for her hair buns. So there you go. Also her belt. All right I am here at Spaceship Earth paying a little bit of rent. Oh no, I'm in jail! Oh, I'm in jail and I can't do my task card. Oh no, that's bad. No, it's fine. You know what? I can't bankrupt in jail. So I'm going to jail. I made it back to Project Tomorrow, aka my preferred jail. I have escaped jail. And I pulled one of my own cards. So I'm gonna click Grand Fiesta Tour. We're gonna go. All right, I've got another task where I can Share an item at a festival booth that no one has shared yet. So we're gonna come over here to Mexico. Let's see. Ooh, the churro. Dulce de leche churro. I've now shared only dessert items, but hey, that's me. Now, I only have $107 left, but technically I'm here at Guardians of the Galaxy, which is another card, so I don't think I can play a lot of money, but I wonder how much money it'll take if I just click it. I can only I can only do two two houses. Oh no. Okay. Ooh, I gotta go into creations quickly to make some money. I've only got seven dollars. Oh no. Gotta come back in here in order to make some more money. And I have got to look talk about an item that no one is okay. Can we talk about this for a second? I think it's so funny. Okay, earlier we talked about the Disney trains, which I love. Uh, the Disney monorails, which again, I also love. I think they're a lot of, they're super cute. But I think it is so funny uh, that they are selling the parking lot trams. A four piece metal set parking lot tram. I, what a trip this is. You can get this pretty much anywhere at World of Disney, Disney Springs. I've also seen it over at the Emporium. Uh, it's definitely uh, not an Epcot specific item, but it's 30 bucks uh, for a parking lot tram. If you want to have your very own parking lot tram, you got it. It's right here, baby. Okay, made it. Imagination Pavilion, gonna pay rent. Okay, back here by the pavilion, I got another task card. So I'm gonna walk to the entrance and explain how to get another, how to get to another part of Disney World. To get to another part of Disney World from 
the Epcot entrance. You can exit, go right up the monorail like we did earlier today, and then it'll take you to the TTC where you can either decide to go to Magic Kingdom or get in your car that might be there. Camera okay, deal, I have two task cards and I'm near places that I can do both of those task cards. I have do a pin tree, and I have walk to the entrance and explain how to get to another part of Disney World. All right, and I'm here at the entrance to explain how to get to another part of Disney World. I'm gonna explain how to get to Polynesian from here. To get to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort from Epcot, you're gonna to wanna to take the monorail bound for Magic Kingdom. When you get to the Transportation and Ticket Center, which is the one and only stop, you're going to wanna to get off and transfer to the resort's monorail. Then you will ride just one stop to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Oh my gosh, Sage is moving so fast on his Monopoly. That's scary. Um, all right, I have to go to and review a bathroom no one else has, so I'm gonna do that. I kind of think, so I'm headed to a bathroom, and on the way, like, I'm gonna get a bathroom on the way to my destination, but I'm headed to Test Track, because Test Track is in Sage's Monopoly, and he has already got hotel and houses on the other two, which means probably only a matter of time until he gets Test Track, so I'm gonna go try to get that card out of my hand, so I don't have to deal with it later. I'm the only player without a Monopoly. I don't know if you know this, but the game's called Monopoly, so it doesn't feel great, about my odds, um, but I'm uh, just hoping for something to work out. Um, really, my only option here is to be the one to bankrupt Fry, and the only way for me to do that is if Fry makes some bad calls and lands on my railroad, so I can't do anything about that. So my real goal is to stay in the game as long as I can and hope that Fry makes some bad decisions. And just like that, jail. I just pulled jail again. I am a criminal and I must serve. Guess who's going to jail with me? This guy, this guy. I found him on my way to jail and now he has to go to jail with me. <laughs> that was a bad ending. <laughs> this is my favorite jail. What'd you do, kid? <laughs> well, I'll pull too many monopoly cards. <laughs> okay, I'm coming up on test track here. I'm gonna refresh to make sure that Sage hasn't bought anything on it. He hasn't. Test track time, baby. I'm in jail again? Well, this is good, I guess. Guess I'll go on the test track one. I do know that everybody else is in jail right now, so I'm gonna do as many tasks as I can before I have to pay rent again. So it's gonna take me a second to get over there, but I'm gonna do the task to find merchandise over in Creation Shop and I can take my sweet time walking over there because I know they're all stuck in jail. They're not gonna do anything for 10 minutes. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows the sorrow. All right, heading into Creation Shop. Let's find some merch that no one else has done yet. And look at this cool Mandalorian helmet. It's a voice changing mask. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, how much is he? $35, $34.99. Pretty cool. Jail over. We successfully survived jail. Yes, uh, shall we go pay rent? I, we're gonna have to pay rent because, well, we were in jail, but our, apparently our bills weren't getting paid. So I have a lot of bills to pay. Thanks, Breedlove. I don't know why what? I blame Breedlove. I just feel like I would put him in charge of paying my rent. That's true. <laughs> We've seen some things. <laughs> Did you just get... <laughs> um, honestly, Emma, I feel like we, um, I feel like we, we grew in there. Yeah, um, and we learned a lot about ourselves. We did, we learned a lot about each other because, you know, I feel like uh, I, we've come out, of the, uh, come out of Spaceship Earth Jail Friends. Yeah. I'm gonna go pay rent at some of your properties. <gasps> really? For yes. Real? Well, only because it's so dirt cheap. Oh, <laughs> I'll take the cash. <laughs> I've been freed. I got uh, good behavior, so I'm out. Um, three of the cards in my hand are Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, which isn't that expensive. It's $50, but if you have multiples of one place and you go there, you have to pay all, you have to use all your cards. So I would have to pay 150 which isn't the end of the world. I have like a little under $300 right now, so I could pay it. I've got cheaper things in the meantime. I've got a task I could do. Then I'm gonna do a task on my way to Grand Fiesta Tour. Maybe I'll get a better 
It'll just make better. And just like that, my measly little test track investment turns into a hotel for $1,750. Whoa! Okay, I'm in Mexico to pay pretty inexpensive rent. The Grand Fiesta Tour, just 38. Uh, this is in one of the two lands that are split and aren't full monopolies still, which is great because I'm nervous. I have actually have a good amount of money right now, so definitely fine to pay 38 at Grand Fiesta Tour. I got the Get Your Friends a Souvenir card again. How come no one's getting me any souvenirs? Okay, I really want to get this Remy's out of my hand. I've got definitely starts to get more crowded at this time because one, locals start to arrive just through the festival for dinner. And two, a lot of people hop to Epcot as their last park of the day. Also something to consider during the Halloween and Christmas seasons are that the Christmas party will close Magic Kingdom relatively early, usually at 6 p.m. And uh, the other parks besides Animal Kingdom, so Hollywood Studios and Epcot, run a chance of getting a lot busier at that point. Okay, I um, am headed to Remy. This is such a dicey choice because I tell you right three times on Remy, which could be really good. It could give me um, a lot of cards that help me. Or it could be really bad and it could give me cards that hurt me. So it's a gamble, but I mean, I have to free up my hand here and uh, I don't have I don't have good options outside of Remy, so. Okay, I've been doing a lot of tasks. I've had to pay some rent to Quincy, which was like not great, but I finally pulled Journey of Water, so I'm gonna go back over here and I think I can build hotels on it now. There's Moana right here behind me. It's dark, you can't see it and you can barely see me. Um, put a hotel on it. Now I need to figure out where I'm going. Okay, just paid Sage rent for Guardians because it was the cheapest at the time. Um, but now, thankfully, I have Moana Journey of Water, which is what I own. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that for myself. Also, I know we did it earlier today in the daylight, but it's so much prettier at night. I love it. Okay, we're here technically. Let's pay. We're not paying myself rent. Oh, my task for hey, are you here to pay me rent? <laughs> pay you rent? I own Journey. Since when? We oh my traded, gosh, we traded it lunch. <gasps> Fry. What did you do? I'm bankrupt. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Fry! Frema. Everyone read the fine print. That's all I have to say. What? Just read before you do something. Oh, I was like, I did not do that. I can't believe you forgot. I can't believe you either. And I just built a hotel, literally while I was standing over there. Fry is the first out. Fry is the seeker. Fry... Fry lost? Yes, <laughs> baby. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know how Quincy made it this far. She... How did Fry... Well, Seeker Fry coming at you. Oh man. I stopped walking because I refreshed just to see what was going on and Fry went bankrupt. On Emma. Emma, who was losing almost as bad as I was at lunch, Fry bankrupted on her. I don't even know like how that happened. Emma must have bought a hotel and drinking of water. That's so... That's so wild. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm in this, but I do think that I'm not the seeker in hide and seek and Fry is. Okay, and I got into the galaxy. Cosmic Rewind. I, uh, I am placing my final hotel here, Guardians of the Galaxy. I've, I'm, I'm booked up. All of my, my entire uh, Monopoly, um, World Discovery. It's a hotel on every one. We are headed on a little bit of a walk all the way to uh, France for Remy's Ratatouille adventure. I am walking over here. I just got paid so much money. Oh my gosh, I think Emma and Sage had to go to my train. I might be in this a little longer, folks. That's so exciting. I really thought this was gonna be like it for me. I'm not, I was gonna have almost no money after this. Okay, paying $1,200 of rent to Emma at the Short Film Festival. Oh man, okay. I have a task card in my hand, and after somebody's out, we can't play task cards, so 
I really only have four cards in my hand right now. So that means uh, my only option, because the other will bankrupt me. My options right now are Figment with a really insane rent, or even more insane rent over in Will Discovery with Sage's like money district over there. But luckily I did pull a monorail card. That is my property. So that's where I'm headed. Well friends, I just went to my monorail. I got it for free, not at the front of the park. And the next card I pulled was Mission Space. So I have a task card I can't use, a figment card I can't pay, two Mission Space cards I can't pay, and a test track card I can't pay. So that's my game. I'm bankrupt and I'm headed to go bankrupt on Sage because you have to bankrupt on the person, you have to bankrupt on the property in your hand that's closest to you and I am closest to test track. No mission space. Regardless, Sage is bankrupting me. That another one has fallen, Quincy is out. It's just me and Emma, okay. Uh. This is absolutely wild that this is still happening. This might be one of the more intense games we've played other than Last to Leave where everyone was sleep deprived. But then again, I was just a fantastic host. So here we go. Oh, okay, pin trading. Okay, which means we only have two things we can do now. We're a little under $1,000. We can either do Spaceship Earth or Journey into Imagination. Looks like Journey into Imagination is just a little less, but not by much. This might be it, unless, unless Emma can pay me something crazy. So, uh, what do you think they're doing right now? Paying each other rent. That sounds but horrible. We don't have to. Okay, so, um, I just, I just spent a lot of money on rent at Journey into Imagination with Figment. If Emma, if Emma doesn't choose something, uh, doesn't have a card, but she's gonna pay me a lot of money, then I, oh, this is not looking good. I, this is where, this is where the, the business tycoon fails. This is it. Okay, I literally just keep drawing my own properties, um, but Sage said detect and refresh. I want to get out of the way. I don't want people to watch me do this. I hope it's a good thing. Because normally people don't say refresh unless it's a good thing. I bankrupted Sage. I bankrupted Mr. Monopoly. I'm very excited. Could you call me Mrs. Monopoly? <laughs> well, I'm glad we have an alliance. It worked out for one of us. For and I'm us? really sorry, but I, I did this Y'all had an alliance? Oh my gosh. I don't no. know. What are you talking about? Who said that? We do have our winner, which means Emma just racked up her second ding, perfect ding, ding, day. Ding. And we also had <laughs> our loser, which decides the very exciting first seeker in our massive four day long eight person game of hide and seek in Disney World. But you know what? I got plans. Um, I also love that Quincy emphasized loser. She was like, yeah. by the way, we have our loser. loser. I was like, whoa. Yeah. She's getting back at me for the joke that I made at lunch. That's true. Yeah, that's um, actually very true. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go watch us play Monopoly in Magic Kingdom. We'll Bye. see you there.